It's Tony Bonvecchio from The Strength House. I'm gonna show you how to set up a band-resisted bench press if you don't have band pegs like you might find on a uh, really high-level competition bench or a power rack. So what we like to do here is we like to take a pair of hex dumbbells and we like to use two per side to kind of create band pegs. So if you zoom in right here, you can kind of see the way that these hex dumbbells are set up. So super important to use the hex ones because they're not gonna roll around. If you use dumbbells with the rounded ends, they're gonna roll. Um, but you can see I've set them up here just like right underneath the end of the barbell and they basically make band pegs. So the, the closest you can put them together is obviously with the ends of the dumbbells touching, but you can separate them as far as you want to increase the band tension. So I'll show you right here just how to do them with the dumbbells touching each other. So I've got a light band here. I'm gonna hook them underneath the dumbbells. Then I'm gonna loop the back side through. I like to do the back side uh, just so the bands aren't pulling the bar forward quite so much. It creates a more natural bar path. And then I just choke the band, take it up and around, and put it around the end of the bar just like that. So you can see the way that this is set up, it's a decent amount of band tension, not a ton. If I wanted to increase the band tension, I'm simply gonna move the dumbbells further apart. So I get those things further apart, I'm getting a lot more band tension, or if I wanna use just a modest amount, then I keep the dumbbells hooked together like that. So if you don't have band pegs on your bench, this is a really simple way to kind of create the same sort of effect.